Welcome back designers to another video. Today we're going to be learning how to make a digital collage on Photoshop. <laughs> You serious? As you can see, I've got a lot of layers here and a lot of things to get through, so let's get straight into the design. I've got my image here, and if any of you don't know about digital collages, there's a lot of layering and layer masking out just to sort of create that effect which the image is floating, the image is behind something, many different things you can do. Um, but I had a lot of fun making this design and I'm actually turning it into a poster if any of you like it. This is what I'm going to be teaching you today. So, as you can see, I've cut areas out, I've made circles, I've cut different flowers out, added layers over the top, used letters just to create little effects, dots as well. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create this now. Let's get straight into it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is make your background. So, I chose a greyish background for this because I felt it worked best with the colours that I was working with. If you just go down to there and you just sort of pick like a, a really light grey, just, just takes the edge off the white basically, just makes the background a little bit more dull and I'm going to name that BG for background. Next you're going to want to go to your person image, so this is where the cutting comes in. I'm going to probably use the pen tool to cut out because it gives me the most accurate effect. I'm going to just speed through this now. I'm going to uh, increase the speed of the video and just you can just watch how I cut it out because you should already know how to cut this out because I've shown it in different videos. Let's get straight into it. Right, so as you can see, we've got our selection. Well, we haven't turned it into a selection yet, but we've got our path ready to select. So if you change it over your layers panel to paths, you've got your work path here, and then you can go down to the circle here and just click selection. There you go, you've got your selection. This is something that is really useful to learn, and this is why the pen tool is so, so over overpowered, pretty much, uh, to speak. It's such an easy way of cutting things out. As you can see, I did that really quickly. It's got a nice selection. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's obviously a collage. Collage originates from people cutting and sticking images together just to create a different effect. So if I layer mask this out, voila, we have our image. So I kind of like these little edges around here that I've messed up on the cutout because it sort of adds a bit of roughness to the design. That's, that's something you want every now and then. So if I apply the layer mask, I've got my image. So going to move to our background here and then we've got our image so I'm just going to increase the size you don't need to hold shift because in the new version of Photoshop it just automatically uh, scales it to size for you I'm going to put it in the middle right there next thing I'm going to do is create a shadow I'm going to put this below and I'm just going to get my ellipse tool and draw a shadow below like so and I'm going to change it to black now what you're going to need to do next is go to filter get blur Gaussian blur and convert it to a smart object and then you're just gonna increase the blur till it sort of sort of something like that get a nice little shadow going on and then you're just gonna decrease the opacity and it just looks like the image is floating pretty much it just creates a nice nice effect uh, it's, it's just there floating gives it a bit of aspect ratio that's that you've already cut your person out you've got your shadow going on next thing you need to do is get your next image into the design so the next image is this tree. You're going to want to unlock the layer and then you're going to get your selection tool and you're just going to select down the middle pretty much. I selected about that much. You can change it, you can go either way, you can select what you want, you can change it to how you want it to look. And now I'm going to go layer via cut. Now I've got this, I've got my layer and I'm going to move it to my next, next bit of the background. I'm going to just put it up here, 
make it a bit smaller, maybe about so big, and then I'm gonna put it over here, and I'm just gonna click yes. Now, if you'll remember in my other design, I had it underneath here, and I had it down lower, basically. So what you're gonna need to do is move it down lower, about here, that, that, that should be good. And then you're gonna, you're gonna go down and put it below the layer. As you can see, we've created that effect. I'm gonna put it below the shadow as well because I want the shadow to overlay onto the image. But this looks good so far. Or you, you can move it in a bit further just so it's not so out there. Like something like that, that looks a bit better I think. And then, you, then you've got the image below so it looks like it's, the person's been stuck on the top creating our nice digital collage effect. The next thing you're gonna do is get your ellipse tool and sort of just highlight it. It doesn't need to be too big. It can be any any color you want, but I'm going to choose the color I used earlier. So it's like a, a pastel -y, pinky color, skin color, if you'd say. And I'm going to put it behind my uh, person, like so. Now, I've got it here. I'm just going to check what I did before. So I've made the tree line a bit smaller, I think. And I'm going to put it down like that. Yeah, that looks good. Now, I need the circle lined up. So like probably, yeah, like that, that works. And then I'm going to get my text tool and I'm going to type O. Obviously you can't see it because it's in the wrong color, but I'm just going to make it a bit bigger and I'm going to change it to black. You need to change it to black so obviously this won't work. Uh, there we go. Now we've got black and I'm going to just, just sort of position it above, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Just going to position it above the, um, the circle and then I'm going to move it below on the layers panel. And as you can see, We've got that sort of that handle effect that I created on the other design. So we've got all our parts together. We've got a person, we've got the circle, we've got the handle, we've got this bit of the tree. The next bit we need to add in is the blue and red plant. So this took me a while to cut out before, so I'm gonna speed it up again. Uh, this is quite an intricate cut, but obviously you can pick any of these flowers on the image. They're really nice. They add a nice bit of color into the design. Uh, and I think they'll really help help you out. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start cutting. Welcome back guys, as you can see I have uh, selected all the image and I've cut it, well I haven't cut it out yet but I've selected it all. I'm just going to show you here, as you can see I've done quite a rough cut, it's not perfect, it's just a bit scabby and I'm just going to select it and show you like, it's not great but the thing is, this is going to be masked out so it shouldn't matter too much. Uh, if there's areas that you find hard cutting out, you can just mask them out as I'm going to show you how to in a minute. Uh, now we've got a selection. There you go, lay it out. Now as you can see, look, it's really rough. It looks quite nice, nice effect, but it's really rough and it doesn't look as clean as the other cutouts. So I'm gonna apply this mask and then I'm gonna drag it over to our image. And there you go, it's quite big, but you can reduce the size a bit. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's sort of quite overpowering, but it looks good on the background. If I increase the size, I've got my image here and I'm just going to select it and then layer mask it again. I'm not going to get a soft brush, sorry. I'm going to get a hard brush because this image needs to be cut out quite sharply towards the background. I'm just going to sort of start erasing the stuff that I don't need. So as I can see, just cutting all that stuff away. Now, I've got the edge of the background. Now I can start pasting it back in if I get a smaller brush. I'm just going to go a bit for closer in and then I'm going to switch the color to white and then I can just sort of start coloring it back in along the edge like so just so I can uh, get my backgrounded effect just gonna go like this and there you go got our, our image back in there now see this is such a simple thing to learn on layer masks it they're so easy and such a, a key thing to creating stuff like this just painting it back in but this is this is what I meant by uh, you don't need to make the cut perfect because obviously we're layering out some of the uh, image so uh, there is room for adding stuff in like this. 
So as you can see now, it's put behind the uh, image, looking good. Uh, we're, we're close to finishing now, guys. As you can see, this is such a quick and easy way of doing stuff and creating designs. I love it. So the next thing you're going to do is get your yellow background. We've got the yellow background. I'm just going to take probably just like a, a strip of it, a strip of texture. I'm going to layer via cut. So I've got this now. I'm just going to take it over to our image and I'm just going to drop it in. Now right, we've got that. I'm going to make it smaller and I'm just going to sort of position it in line with the flower. And I'm going to duplicate this just so we have two and then like so. And then I'm going to reduce the opacity so you can see the guy coming through. Not too much. Just a little bit so you can just see the edge of his arm. I'm probably going to reduce it to about 70% like so. And then I am going to add in the circles that we have here. And then I'm going to add the line in above there like we have there. And then we're pretty much done. There's only one more thing we need to add after that. So if I go back, let me just get rid of that layer. If I go back to the design right now. So we've got everything here. We just need the three dots to go along here and we need the line above here. So to do this, I'm gonna use the rectangle tool for the line. I'm just gonna draw quite a fairly thick line. I'm gonna change the fill to black and I'm just gonna position it so it's it's probably in the middle. Uh, same gap, same distance as the gap between the two yellow ones and that's the line done. Next thing we need to do is change to the ellipse tool and just create a nice, small circle and change the fill to black again now if I zoom in I can basically just get the circle here and then press alt and I can drag it across and then alt again there we go there's our three black dots uh, there's the line above the yellow and we've sort of done the image already I'm just gonna reduce the size of that flat actually no I'm not gonna do that because I've already layer masked it out I'm just gonna I need to um, add a camera raw filter over the top of it just so it brings the whole image together as I've shown you in previous tutorials and so that um, I can add some nice effects to it so if I just edit fill this with 50% gray which is what you have to do with camera roll filters most of the time. And then you get your camera roll filter and it increases the grain, quite high grain on this because it's quite an old image. The size can be quite big, roughness about 70. As you can see, it's really rough now. And now I'm just gonna change it to overlay. And there we go. The image is all together now and it sort of gets rid of this harshness on the layer mask and sort of just, just brings everything together and it makes it look quite nice, I think. Uh, I really do enjoy this collage, but I hope that you've actually been able to take something away from this and do this yourself. So I'm gonna leave the photos in the description below and if you want to have a go at it, feel free to. I'm going to be doing more collage, digital collage videos. Because uh, I'm thinking of doing a series of doing collages about professional people, uh, famous people, celebrities and stuff. If you want to see that, just leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. It'd be great to have some feedback from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.